Good morning. My name is Miss Charles Radawin, coming to you out of the Lesson and Bell Community Center, where children and families are first, celebrating 60 years of service. But I'm speaking to you today about infant mortality. I've been fighting this battle for over 25 years, and we still haven't won that battle. So I figure we must need a new strategy. And I know it's going to take you and me to put infant mortality to sleep. I put my new strategy together in the form of poetry. Name my poem is called Informatality Education Being Taught Across the Nation. And it goes like this. We have to keep it together and keep moving forward. This is about saving baby lives and we need to hurry. Informatality education being taught across the nation. Changing old sleep patterns, taking on new ones. By putting babies on their back, we can save a lot of little ones. Did you know that black babies are dying greater than other nationalities? This is no joke. This is the reality. Infant mortality has entered our community. We have to pull together. We need unity. Education in the schools and at the church. Educating grandparents about safe sleep. I'm sure that won't hurt. Bed sharing is one of the reasons these preventable deaths happen. We have to educate all. This is a tragedy. Putting babies on their back alone in the crib, even when they're napping. This is how we can stop preventable deaths from happening. Education at the community center, barbershops, grocery stores. We have to teach all about safe sleep, so we must do more. Education at the meat market, car washing malls. Infant mortality will affect us all. Educate your neighbor if they exhibit that behavior. The children are our future. It's up to us to save them. We must move forward and stay on track by putting your baby in a bare naked crib on their back. We can save many baby lives like that. Education via internet, Facebook, or Twitter. If there is a place that I forgot to mention, let that be your infant mortality mission. We must discuss safe sleep education if you're eating at a pub, socializing at the club, sitting in your truck, waiting on the bus, on a midday trot, sitting in your car. It don't matter where you are. Even if you are home on the telephone, this education must go on. We must re-educate this whole generation by teaching everyone about safe sleep education. Please remember, this is reality. Many families are affected by infant mortality. So I say to you, where do we go from here? Because yesterday there was more, more of us. So if you're tuning in to this YouTube station, I need your help to teach the world about infant mortality education.